Well, hello guys, welcome back. Um, first off, we want to send out our love and sympathy to the people of Crimea. We we saw it in our newsfeed over here. We're really sorry about the attack on the college. And you know that's always devastating when young people were taken away from us. So we are sorry. And that kind of made me think would it be too frivolous to do today's video um we were working together last night and i asked loki if i could tell you about this if it would be useful at all and he's like go ahead and i had to think about why we talked about it i had to think a long time about why we talked about it, but he kept pestering me last night for details of my relationship with i'm gonna say yahweh but you know god and he he kept pressing for details, and I'm like, I don't want to share this with you. And he's like, why? And I'm like, you're my god, and this has been a long-standing thing he's done for years. Every so often he comes over and he asks me, and he, he seems upset when he asks me. And we talked for a very long time, and I gave him details, and I was not comfortable or happy doing it, because I thought, I'm hurting him. Why would you tell your god about the god you had before them? Um, but I th he seemed like he was getting nourished some way like this was helping him and he kept insisting it was helping him and i'm like okay this this is strange i don't want to hurt him but i'll share whatever he wants to hear and i got up today and like i'm playing youtube and i'm playing some of my old videos and because if i can't think i go back and i watch some of my old videos sometimes it knocks stuff loose and i thought well i basically described Yahweh to him as sad and I said Yahweh never felt recognized by his own people and I said that has never made sense my entire life he has millions of people he's instantly recognizable you see him you know he's God uh, well a God but you know he's God and I said there's no way you couldn't recognize him so I could never understand this and he kept pressing me for details, like all these little small tiny details, like what did he look like, what did he wear, what did his voice sound like, and I'm like, okay, because Loki would know enough to imitate, he could just pull it all my head. But I kept telling him the stuff, and he didn't seem happy with what he got. And I did tell him like inconsistencies I noticed about Yahweh and Jesus and that compared to what they said in the Bible, but whatever. And, oh, shut up, Loki. Loki's helping. <laughs> and I was doing stuff today, as I said, I was listening to my videos, and then it unlocked something. I remember one time, Yahweh, telling me that he invented the fishing nut. And at the time, I was like, okay. And it was, was something really, really important for me to know. And he was so profoundly disappointed I didn't get it. He was, like, showing me a fishing net and have, like, floaters and stuff on it. So it was more modern than I, I guess, but it, it was so I would know it was a fishing nut. And I'm thinking today, who invented the fishing nut? And I said, Loki? Yeah. If I had a Bible in this house, I would beat you with it. Why? Why would you purposely be another god? And he's looking at me way too innocent. He's like, what? And I'm like, why would Yahweh tell me he invented the fishing nut? Um, and it came down to, you know, he, he finally said, he said, well, what other way was I supposed to be with you? Was I supposed to announce that I am Loki? That would have got you in a lot of trouble. He, and he was, at the time, he was with me as Yahweh, and he was with me as himself, only he wasn't himself, so it's super complicated. And I just kind of looked at him. And I remembered, I said, you know, looking back, I said, I could choke you to death. I said, I remember times. Now, remember, I didn't know Loki was Loki at the time. I said, I would swear I was praying to him, him, when I was praying to God. He would just give me this blank expression and go, no, um, I don't want worship. And I I kept feeling this compulsion that I should be worshiping this this entity who's going to die in a fire, and <laughs> I, he would be like, no, 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 I don't want worship, and I, I was 
feeling the strongest pull. And I was like, I think you're God. I said that to him a couple of times. And he's like, um, no, um, God is God. So Loki was just leaving himself multiple exits. He likes multiple exits. Not that he was going to run away, but if he saw things going badly for him to be here, he was going to have four or five at least exits and a few I don't know about. And <laughs> he's back here like, you're learning. And um, that's just Loki's holy nature. And I was like, but it had to hurt to be another god. You know, I wasn't asking him this to make him feel bad. But I'm like, it had to hurt to pretend to be another god. He said, that's all I could do. He said, I couldn't just come to you as Loki. That wouldn't have worked very well. You were being raised Catholic. You were being told to pray to God. So you were praying to God. I said, this explains so much about my prayer experience. He goes, yeah. Da, da, da. <laughs> I said, do you know for years I thought something was wrong with me or I was on the way to becoming a saint? Yeah, I know, but you wouldn't be much of a saint unless you're a patron saint of floozies. I mean, I love you, dear. <laughs> I'm looking at him and looking at him. And I'm like, okay. Um, he's bad. He's very bad. So that's what he has been doing. He's been doing nonsense. And I guess he did all that because, as he said, how else could he be with me? And how else could he do everything else? And I think he led me on the strange journey the last couple months just to prove who he is, just to prove just how strong he is. Um, I really don't know how many other divinities, if any, I know, because with Loki, you get used to the truth being subjective and in the way, in an inconvenience, and the truth is whatever Loki tells you it is, it honestly is. So some days I might say I've known a lot of gods and had, you know, good relationships with a lot of gods and some days i'll say i think it was all loki i will never know and that's just the way he likes it so we thought we would show share that because it was a real struggle going from catholicism to going to you know wicca and you know everything else and i kept feeling this this presence and i just regret it because it would have been nice to know he was Loki from the outset. We could have skipped all the nonsense in between. But then he's back here. But then you wouldn't be who you are. Yeah, I could be a bitter person. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> We're arguing on camera. So, yeah. Um, I'm just kind of distracted today. It's cold. We have the wind, the high wind. So, yeah. I just looked around. And I said, we are not. We're not going to decorate again for Halloween. I said, it's too freaking cold. I'm not making kids go out in this. I mean, it's... It's in the 50s, but it's a kind of cold, punishing 50s. Uh, I'm like, yeah, we're not decorating again. So I hope that helps somebody out there. Sometimes these videos seem to be timely, and I was like, it feels important to talk about. And I don't ever share stuff, guys, to say, oh, look what I got. I think we all get it. Um, for years, I... I just, I wasn't sure, but then it's like starting to finally make sense because I have been praying to him. I'm like, you have to help me sort stuff out because I'm going nuts. So he's been answering me and he's been answering nicely. Um, He is being a little smart ass. I told him he owed me grapes for when he was pretending to be Dionysus. So grapes are coming up everywhere on the internet for me. And they even came up in a flyer. And I'm like, you're a little smart ass. He's like, ha ha ha. And I told him he owed me Big Macs, and I haven't seen the Big Macs yet, but he'll find a way. He'll find a way. He'll 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 show me something. But right now we're trying to settle into being in for the winter, which is a little different than being in for the summer, because in the summer, in theory, you could get up very early or very late and go somewhere. But now it's cold all day long, so and we have a freezing alert now. So they're saying, you know, anything delicate, get it inside. Everything's going to freeze, which means ice, which means I'm not walking anywhere. So, <laughs> um, whatever we have in the house for Halloween, we have in the house for Halloween. It's, yeah, you know, what are you going to do? So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and see you later. Bye-bye.